Well, I guess we're all set, right? Yep, okay. we're ready. I'll call the Palmer Select Board to order a regular meeting Thursday, September 22nd at 7.08. For the agenda approval, minutes of 9.8.16, warrants, mail, old business, Route 346, mobile home site, town office carpet, the status of uh, the brick project, and uh, in their new business, uh, Jim Gilbert is here. We'll be, uh, we'll be discussing roadside dumping procedure, and we got a policy review. We get a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Get a motion on the minutes. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Payroll 918.16, and that was $7,856.43. Accounts payable 916.16, and that is uh, Eight thousand three hundred and eighty three dollars and seventy six cents. And uh the only one that much significance there I guess is our new front door and, and our small roof there to keep you out of the rain, which is a very nice improvement to the building. Twelve hundred dollars. And we got payroll nine eleven sixteen. That was six thousand seven hundred and five dollars and seventy three cents. Accounts payable for nine twenty three sixteen, and that was twenty five thousand two hundred eighty nine dollars and seventy seven cents. And the bigger ones there was uh, Bennington Sheriff's. $2,890, health insurance for $2,471, electricity $4,071, and uh, fixing some divots and stuff in the cemeteries, that was $1,800, and payroll transfer, IRS, that was $2,811, then were the large ones on that. There were several uh, tax overpayments processed. Yeah, there was a few tax several. overpayments. Uh, which they weren't huge, but $235 and stuff like that. So if that's, that's what that is, I get a motion. No move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, mail, we had, uh, we did get some better financing. Uh, for our truck for down to the sewer plant. It just has to be paid each year instead of monthly, uh, which is fine. That was all budgeted for that, but it's uh, it was only one point something, 1 1.8, 1.6 versus 6.3, so it was quite a saving. But, you know, very reasonable uh, mm -hmm. yeah. rate. So we got to sign the paperwork for that. That's uh, that we're getting that through uh, People's Bank up here. You need to take a motion. I need a motion to sign that. I'll we'll make a motion to sign that. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 There was a couple questions about when we were going to get the truck. Looks really, like all that paperwork was there. We gotta sign it all. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna sign, sign that too. Alright. This one. There's a bunch of them there. Yeah, well, bang. But there was a little bit of concern about a person asked me about well, we haven't got the truck yet. Which really doesn't matter. Uh, I talked to Darcy. The money is already uh 
uh, been budget budgeted and everything. We're gonna we're gonna pay for the. It doesn't matter if we get the truck two three months later because they're putting the body on it and things. Uh, we're still gonna get the truck and we're still gonna pay the year's payment. So we'll right. be we'll be current. We won't be pushing it further back. Right. That makes sense. Well, so in other words, you're going to stay within your fiscal budgets with budgeting. That's right. right. We're going to stay within that, and we're going to, because uh, it isn't like it was an emergency. They're not on foot down there. You still have a truck. Well, it's a very favorable interest rate, though. Well, yeah. That's good interest rate. Yeah, it's very, very good. Every one of those spots. Yep. Am I right? Yep. Except for the last one. Okay. Yep. yep. Right there. <coughs> you watch me, I'll go ahead and try to sign the back one. Yeah, that's why I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie said, watch Henry. Yeah, okay. Well, he knows me by now. <laughs> Here, the last thing we no. do not, right? Yep, don't touch it. Good. Don't yeah. touch it. There she is. Ellen's here. So. There, you signed your that. papers, Ellen. Yeah. Thank you. We're all set there. So, uh, we got a letter here, State of Vermont. We got to do a PFOA sampling over at the transfer station uh, because they found it in the other trans uh, transfer station up in Shaftesbury, their municipal landfill and stuff. So, they've uh, that's going to cost about five hundred dollars uh, uh, to do that. We got to sign a thing here for it's Stantec. They're going to do this sampling and stuff. It's it's a requirement anyway. So, it's, but it's five hundred dollars. That's what you check that. We don't have no choice, do we? Uh, no, there's no, no choice. choice. No. Yeah. And we've got the monitoring wells in there already, so it's yeah. just a matter of them dip them. Yeah. dipping some water out of the wells and testing yeah. it. I think it's a good thing myself. I really do. I don't need the rest of us, just you, right? That's yeah. all. Good. Yeah. Then in the Bennington County Sheriff's, uh, we got their uh, report. One animal problem, one 9 hang up, three agency assists, one public assist, one burglary alarm, uh, two motor vehicle complaints, three noise complaints, three VIN verifications, uh, directed patrols all over town, 56 traffic stops all over town, one aggravated domestic, 17 ATV complaints, uh, FYI, we will not engage in a pursuit with any ATV or motorcycle. So traffic tickets as follows, we have 25 speeding tickets, three no registration, two operating license suspended, four no insurance, 
30 written verbal warnings, two cell phone while driving, texting, uh, property checks, they check what Village Market, Winchester's, Quality Auto, Stewart, Stam, Center Auto, Next Door, Beer and Wine, Town Office, Oak Hill, Head Start, Pownal School, Pownal Rescue, Dollar General, Peaceful Valley, The Roost, Pownal Valley, Pownal View Barn, Pownal Fire, Hillside House, Winchester's, Tourney Beans, Pownal Pets, Jelly's Auto, American Legion, and Residents as requested in Pownal Valley Fire. They've been focusing on the back roads where we've been asked to watch for speeders and ATV use and some of the main roads were County Road and Brookman Road, Middle Pond Road, Jackson Cross Road, South Stream Road, North Pond Road, Barber's Pond Road, Center Street, Northwest Hill Road, and Montgomery Road. So I guess they've been all over the place. Road Foreman's Report. Did road grading, White Oaks, uh, and mowing on the Cedar Hill and North Pondle. Roadside mowing, Cedar Hill to, on the North Pondle. Sweeping intersections and bridge in the White Oaks. Continued blacktop patching. Clean up trees from the storm. Next week, be road grading, uh, Cedar Hill and North Pondle. And continue roadside mowing some blacktop patching, and get the sand bits. That's the report from our road boss. Now, we had the minutes here from the Pondle Town Office Committee. The committee reviewed the RS, RASA drawings and combined the best ideas. Kopi moved and Hutchinson seconded a motion to put the large meeting room in the center of the building with an enclosed hall running down the north and south sides. Motion passed by all. Uh, we all agree that most public offices would be off the halls downstairs, those being town clerk, vault, administrative assistant, administrative treasurer, small meeting room, uh, auditors. Upstairs would be the lifters in a small meeting room, the break and kitchen area. This is the, uh, the plan that they've looked at. We're going to schedule a meeting with Linsync Group for next week. So they'll probably be sending us another letter to tell us what they're doing. That's a different week. Yeah, this is another week. Yeah, that was yeah, week 15 is the one you read, Ronnie. Oh, all right. I read the road foreman's report for week 15. And this is the 22nd. This is for the 22nd. And, uh, Road grading was Northwest Hill Road, Crum Road, Montgomery, Valley View, White Oaks, Benedict Road, Purcell, Dugway, Mason Hill South, Lincoln Street, and Cedar Hill. Roadside mowing, Skiffery Road, Mount Anthony, and Cedar Hill. Drawing gravel, sweeping intersections. Yeah. And that's pretty much what he said he was going to do, and he did, I guess. So in this week, next week coming in. Roadside grading, Carpenter Hill, Carpenter Hill West, Tubbs Road, Indian Massacre Road, roadside mowing, black dot patching, and some ditching. That was submitted by Joel, our road boss. He'll probably tell us, but do we know when they're going to start paving? Maybe tomorrow. They've got a lot tomorrow. more markings on the roads, so I see that they must be getting ready. Okay. They got it marked out. The North Pondle Road is marked out on top. They could round up flaggers they were starting tomorrow. So I'm okay. thinking that'll be very soon. She's thinking tomorrow. Okay. Well, I hope it doesn't interfere with our fall foliage at all. <laughs> it'll just make them stop and look at the foliage longer. That's it. <laughs> if we get any foliage. I know. Okay. Uh, Springer Law Offices, uh, they uh, filed their application for this, uh, this is for that power stuff, right? Yeah, new power, power submission package. They signed all that stuff and uh, they, they enclosed a copy of this letter and there's been uh, just about everybody and there's, it's passed its, uh, 
No complaints, I guess, as far as uh, it's historic findings, the historic uh, things, and also I guess there was no complaints about where it was going to where it was going to be due to the bloom, things like that. So that's no historic properties are affected. Vermont Division of Historic Preservation. So BCRC, they got another public meeting notice and agenda. That was on October 11, 2016, at the Arlington Town Hall, and that's uh, just a meeting. If anybody wishes to go to that, this is a solid waste. That's a solid waste. Oh yes, it is. Bennington County Solid Waste Alliance. So, well, I'm sure we'll have someone going there. Yeah, so the one Tom talked about. Yeah. Tom will probably go or something. Knowledge Wave. This is a customer service class that we're going to have for all the staff. Yeah, that's it. This is that class that we're having for all the staff, uh, which is uh, coming up very shortly. October 31st, Halloween, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's a one day thing, it'll be <coughs> held down at the library, wasn't it? Oh, Rescue Squad. Rescue Squad, that's it. It's down at Rescue Squad, so. It's a costume party, we're supposed to dress up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. But I think, I think it'll be good, uh, a good thing. Have we notified all these people? No, I'm no. going to write a letter from okay. the board. Yeah. So for good. Yeah. Gonna I'm going to do an invitation from well, the them. The thing is, at the same time, we're going to ask if they can make it. Yeah. And if they can't, we'll find other Right, because we're only allowed 12 or 15. That's right, 12, I 12. think. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But, and we wanted to be for sure to fill it. Right. Okay. So we want to fill the class with 12 people. Some other, uh, Things going on, they can't make it. Right. We'll find, maybe we can find somebody else. And we'll provide it. lunch. It's an all day you leave course. No. Oh, my lunch here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're invited. Okay. You're invited. This, that thing will cost six, $1,605. Yep. Uh, now, we need a motion to sign it. I'll make a motion to sign. Second. Second. It's part of the continuing education process and everything, and we felt it was good for all of our staff to take the class. Okay, that's it for the mail. So, now, uh, this, uh, I'll save that uh, Route 346 mobile home site because that, we're going to talk about contract there with the realtor, so I think we should go into executive session and finish that up to see what we agreed to do on that. Okay. That'll be last. Okay. okay. Now, as far as uh, the town office carpet, uh, I'm under the understanding that we got somebody that's going to come here and uh, clean have, it. We have an estimate here. Oh, okay. Did you get one of those? Mm -hmm. I probably did. I got one. Well, there's an estimate here to, to shampoo and deodorize it, sanitize and mildew treatment. And uh, for $212.45, which I think we shouldn't hesitate a moment to get do that done. Do we need done. a motion to approve? Well, the, the plan is um, to do it over Columbus Day weekend so that it has plenty of time to try. Um, Ronnie's going to yeah. be able to bring in a couple of fans. I got a couple of them fans. fans. We'll have to let them run for the because the, the place will be closed on Monday, so they'll do it on Saturday. Yep, move the air around, dry it out. Okay. So they're going to come in 9:30 on Saturday and uh, do it, and um, my recommendation was that if the stains re if a lot of stains reappear for the money, just have it done again. This hasn't been done in like. 12 years, <laughs> so you know it. It'll be okay. They're gonna put a, a mildew cleaner in it, and sanitize. Right. So I'll let our cleaning company know because they've been cleaning on Saturday. So I'll let them know that um, mm -hmm. they're gonna clean that weekend. Okay. 
You got something to add? Jim? Yes. Does that include patching in this section here? I'm under the understanding that a resident has a piece of that carpet. I, I think there's some backstock up in the attic. I'm not positive, but I think well, there is. Uh, Nelson told me, of course, he was he was pretty sick the other the other day, a couple weeks ago or something. But we got uh, a resident had a piece of that. That was left over from when they carpeted the thing. It's probably a little brighter than what we got here, but no. he did save it, and I guess it's in, in shape, which we'll try to get that hole patched. I, I, I the think there's some process. up in the attic, too. Well, that's good. I know I've got the tiles up in the attic for the, the bathroom, wow. you know, where the, where the trap door is that's peeling well, the tiles off. That's good, because that should, that should be, be covered up, too. Yeah, so yeah. yeah I, I, I do have them up in the attic, and I think there's some of this carpet up there, too. It's been a long time since I've been up there, but... Well, Nelson was sure that uh, of a piece big enough to cover that to start with, if there isn't... I mean, that's what he told me two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, when I see him last. Okay, well, we hope to get that done, and... Uh, I'm sure it'll be better because they're going to use uh, some mildew thing, but they're also, uh, they have some mold killer or something that you can mm -hmm. use in that machine. And, it, and, they, and they claim it really works good. So then we should be a little bit, should be a little more healthy in here. That's we all. just need to continue getting what we need to finish up downstairs so it Yeah, so it'll work to keep it together. dry. And that's pretty mm -hmm. near done down there. That's mm -hmm. all. Yeah, I thought Tom said we were almost done down there. Yeah, well, we the plastic is laid down. He right. was going to put in a dehumidifier. A, a dehumidifier or a fan or something well, on a humistat. Mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the louvers in are, are in and stuff to let air through. Okay. But to move the air, it was gonna, they were going to do something. He was okay. going to have our electrician there wire up outlet or something down there. Okay. So that should be all set. So I think we need to let Tom know that since the board decided to do the carpet that he doesn't need to be checking into floors, flooring. Okay. I agree. Well, that's, that's what we'll do. We'll you don't need a motion to do this, right? We could just do it. Oh, it's only a couple yeah. hundred dollars. Right. And we already okay. spoke I'm just to, asking. The, yep. to the lady there and uh, we told her if it yeah, it's come out pretty good, good, but there was still a few stains and you know, might even do it twice for that, that mm -hmm. price. So anyway, and the status of the brick project. I've been on this board forever and I still want to know, and you were one of the last ones to join that brick project. How's it going? <laughs> He's going to put me on the spot, Bill. Did you see that? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> I was down to the rec park last Friday morning with Bill's lovely wife, Ruth and Cindy Brownell. And while they're doing the hydro down there, they've now tore it all up and moved all the bricks, all the rocks and everything that are around through to run the electrical line down through. Um, the guy from the company has agreed to put the bricks back in. Ruth wanted me to look and see where we were going to put the bricks. She's still not sure who exactly is going to put them in, but we've decided to put them in front of there's a big sign there about the town of Pownall, and there's two trees. Dave Dents is going to come down and trim the trees way back because they've grown in so much. And Joel told us that he thought that Bruce could put the bricks in, but um, Ruth wanted to check with him because she wasn't sure whether he would be able to do them the way we wanted them. We we're trying to draw out a diagram. Well, but once that a, project was all done, we were hoping that Bruce could put him in. I also, also talked to the road boss there, and he says, that I think it's a, well, it used to be Morris Box. Mm -hmm. the, right there by the trestle there, they mm -hmm. sell concrete supplies and things. Okay, pavers and, stuff, and things. Whatever. And I guess they, they actually sell a grid, plastic grid. So you've got your spot cleaned out, and you've dropped the plastic grid in, and then you yeah. put the... the bricks in, and then I, uh, you, you put your sand in. That keeps them all placed, and then your, your sand works down in there. Mm -hmm. So he was telling me about that. Well, I says, look, it's about time. I would like to see that done before I'm done. You know what I mean? 
It would be I nice. Think we it's all been would. a long time. Yeah, it has been a long time. I and think we ought to get moving. And I'm well, it's been on, it's been there uh, since uh, for two years now. Uh, well, <laughs> I've been back here and and it's just been doo -doo -doo -doo, you know. So but I, I think, think that we're getting closer. But let's yeah. just and we've got someone that will. Uh, well, we believe we've got. Something. We've had you trouble finding saying. people okay, to do so it. Okay, so I'm sure now that we can get it done and mm -hmm. let's move forward. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, now new business. We got Jim Gilbert's going to tell us something about roadside dumping procedure. Yeah, I have been uh, involved in roadside dumping now for ever since I've been the health officer, which is coming up on 25 years now um, and it's just getting to the point where it's really making me ugly and back when Ella Fontaine was the constable if I went through a bag of garbage and found somebody's name on a piece of paper in that garbage I would give it to Al and he would go knocking on their door and tell them that they either had to remove the garbage or he was going to fine them. And over the past about three weeks, I have cleaned up three piles of garbage off the sides of Indian Massacre Road, North Pownell Road, and uh, Dean Road. And it's bugging me. It's really, really bugging me. But fortunately, when I pick it up off the side of the road and I take it to the transfer station, the boys let me dump it for free, you know, right. because I'm cleaning up the roadsides. Um, I went through all of the stuff and I came up with some names and I tried to get the state police to do something about it. They won't do anything about it because it's not a state road. So I went to the sheriff's department and it took me almost a week to get through to somebody in the sheriff's department that was willing to at least take a look at the paperwork that I pulled out of the garbage. You know, I put my rubber gloves on and I go through the stuff and I pull out names yeah. and this and that and the other thing. And I don't know if the sheriff's department has done anything with the information that I gave them. I have no idea. They don't follow through on it. They don't get back to me and let me know that they've done something about it. What I am proposing, and it's entirely up to you guys, is that we develop a town ordinance against roadside dumping on town roads. And I will be glad to take on the responsibility of writing tickets to people that I can identify from the garbage. If I can't identify anybody, I'll just take it over to the transfer station and dump it. But if I can come up with names of people that belong to the garbage, I will ticket them. And we'll get some sort of a fine and the, the town gets it. You know? I'm, go I'm going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. But th th there's no reason why, you know, People should be dumping their crap on the side of the roads. It's disgusting. It really is disgusting. I have gone out and I have picked up crappy diapers off the sides of the roads and loaded them into a garbage bag and taken them over to the transfer station. I'm not afraid to do stuff like that. I put on my heavy duty rubber gloves and then when I go home I wash everything off with bleach. You know? Mm -hmm. But I can't stand to see it on the sides of the road. It, it, it drives me nuts. And I would really like it if the board would consider uh, developing some sort of a town ordinance what against ordinance? roadside dumping. And I would be glad to enforce it for you. Well, I, I'm going to tell you a personal experience. Uh, I have a place down there in Indian Massacre Road. And a good friend of mine was living there. And he went out and he because they throw it in that swamp, which is, makes it even worse. You gotta oh, yeah. get out there, oh, yeah. get boots on, go out and get it. And he went through that stuff. And he was pretty sure who'd throw it out there. So, and we called the state police. The state police did come down. But the state police is a, isn't a thing we can do about it. And their reasoning was 
because uh, somebody could have taken their trash. It doesn't have to be there, you know, I mean, if you hire somebody, there's some, there's some unscrupulous people. I know there is, myself. And, uh, but, so you don't, you provide can't really me with track. Provide me with proof that you hired somebody to well, haul see, this stuff away. Into, uh, so provide me with the proof. Before I would get, I mean, look, I'm all, for, I, I, I'm all against, uh, uh, you know, throwing stuff outside the room. That's, that's ridiculous. It shouldn't happen anywhere in the country. Never mind, Paul. It shouldn't happen anywhere. And, uh, but it does. And, but how, how, what, what is our standing as a, uh, I don't know. I'd have to have some, somebody, uh, tell me laws. And I'm not, I'm not crazy about, uh, uh this probably you won't like that, Jim, but I'm not crazy about us having a bunch of, uh, ordinances. Because, first of all, they are hard to, to enforce. And it, uh, sometimes in a small town, I think it's worse than in a bigger town. Because everybody knows everybody. You know, well, my friends do it, and that's okay. But those are people. Not, no, not I, a great fan of that, see? I hear you, Ron. I, I really, really do. I, but I, I don't know, I mind. Where you're coming from. I don't mind looking at and asking, you know, around and see what the story is. But. Oh, there it is, right the there. Board. She found a bunch of stuff there. That's it. that's all. Which I'm not going to read all that over right now. Throwing, dumping, burning stuff. It's, a, it's just a, a model. It's a model, which you know. But I think we ought to look at this stuff, and, and if there is something that we can do, uh, I'm all for it. Well, I've said but, my piece. You know. Yeah. I and, disagree and with I, you, Ron. <laughs> I, I'm willing. I'm willing you, to you knew I would. I'm, I'm willing to take it on. I'm if, sick if of the garbage will... on the side of the road and the dumping and well, and everybody is. You know, and whatever we can do to help clean it up, I think we should do it. Yep. There's a there's a whole bunch of people in town that we get together a couple of times a year mm -hmm. and do a roadside cleanup, not Another just on Green Up Day, way. right? But we, you know, we go. We, we we did Indian Massacre Road. Mm -hmm. We did. North Pound Road, you know, there's a guy that, that does uh, uh, Nile School Road all the time, and the guys at the at the transfer station let him dump the stuff that he picks up for free. So there is you a know. Vermont statute. Yeah, it's it's it, it's just a matter of you, you know. see this five hundred dollar fine on the highway for the drive my car. Oh, sure, there's, well, there's laws you see against it. dumping all over you the place. Know, what I'm saying is, is, even on the state highways, we see that. So yeah. I, 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 what, do we have any signage or anything posting? <clears throat> Just the state signage. What would it cost us to put the signs around? I know I people should no know idea. better anyway, but... I have no idea. I just think... I think you're right. I think we should do something. I think we should enforce it at least. I'm tired of the junk. I'm tired of the garbage. And I, whatever I can do to help, or the board, I think we should try to help. That's my two cents. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> I'm only one person on this board. I know. <laughs> well. I know it's a problem, and I know that there's there's uh, signs. They have uh, no littering signs. They have no dumping signs. Different places where it's really uh, been uh, done a lot. You see places where it says no dumping, and I think the people that want to dump, they seem to it tracks them there because it seems like there's more stuff there afterwards than there was before <laughs> they put the sign up. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's, it's a yeah, fact. It's, true. it's almost like putting a, a I think the best thing that we can yeah, do <laughs> as a community is, you know, if you see somebody dumping something, we'll turn them in. They turn people in for everything. Mm -hmm. okay. I think, you, uh, you know? <coughs> I'll tell you what I, you know, the thing is, if we're going to talk about it, we, we, we need to do some kind of an action, you know, and I don't mean fines and all this stuff at the moment, but I do think that, uh, um, when you do find this stuff uh, alongside the road or wherever you find it, <coughs> I think you should bring it to the Board of Selectmen. No, not the bag of garbage, 
Please. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, but the, the okay, paperwork. <laughs> the, the but, paperwork. but whatever paperwork you've got, and that way, um, we uh, the town will know that we do have some problems going on here, and um, it'll help us uh, determine just how serious this problem is, and um, uh, and I'm not trying to dodge not doing something, mm -hmm. but I think that at this moment maybe if we just uh, bring it to light. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, people will be aware that, uh, you know, um, yeah. I know all about trash, you know. I mean, just, just today, I was coming back up from Williamstown, and I'm going past the, the Mac Molding plant, and there's a mattress. And a quarter of the mattress was in the traveled roadway. A quarter of the mattress was in the traveled roadway. I pulled off, I wasn't going to pick it up, but I pulled off and I got it flopped over onto the bank. You know, it's on a state highway. How many state trucks drove past that mattress in the past two or three days? Mm -hmm. You think they'd pick it up? Give me a break. You know? And it's it's a road hazard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you know, know. somebody could hit it yeah. well, and yeah. flip their yeah, car for crying you know, out loud. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't want to start you know, uh, saying too much and then, you know, all of a sudden we'll have a list this long. Uh, no, but I mean, for the, just... Well, no, for, the, for our highway department. But I do think that the people that travel our roads, that work for the town, uh, could give us more information than probably all the policemen in the world. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, there isn't a high, or, you know, there isn't a town road that um, uh, our workers don't travel. And if there is something, um, such as a mattress, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I think if we, you know, I think we should. Uh, but I mean, our guys are not know, responsible see, for Route 346. No, 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 no. I'm talking about I'm talking about um, uh, Massacre Road down there, and, and you know the roads that you're talking mm -hmm. about here. I, I'm down highways. So, anyways, I, I think. What do you guys are saying, bro? Um, I just wanted to say is that I'm glad you're having this discussion. I think that people really want their roads to be in good shape and bring it forward. You said something earlier, you know, about you don't know once you bring information like you brought to Al to the sheriffs, you know, what the next piece is. I, I noticed earlier you have a report from the sheriff's department, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if they have a clear understanding of your expectation when, uh, at least to start with, well, when Jim brings them something of what action did they take and for the money that you're paying for them and whether you see it or not or making it clear as part of your contract with them. And it would seem, you know, at least getting that understanding would be um, helpful for both the sheriff and, and the town uh, for at least that piece of it. Well, my thoughts on that are uh, if uh, we should bring that, make sure that we should talk to the sheriff's department, Chad there, and uh, ask him what the deal is, yeah. and uh, you know, and, and if you, and also I think sometimes, some people all you got to do is you got to let them know. Well, it's some people they, you know, they, they throw stuff out, but you know if you're on to them, you know what I mean? Say, hey, look, you're not. We're, we're going to take action. Mm -hmm. You can't do this stuff. As far as you know, being you know this this big brother thing where you're going to come in and lock them up and throw them in jail and stuff, hey, that ain't going to happen. But if you, if you do know that you're on to them, look, we found your trash, and this sure. and that, maybe that would help some. I don't know. Could and I know some of the stuff, like Jim was hollering about the mattress there. Well, there for a while, when TAM first opened up, there was quite a lot of stuff right down through the dugway all the way down to uh, where they turned down in the TAMs. They weren't properly covering their loads. But the complaints went to TAM, and he got after them haulers coming out of Massachusetts, which is, is fine. I mean, they're, they're in a bit, but they can cover their loads. I think that's the way we handle these problems uh, better off. And, and also, they, well, one guy picked up a job. They give him a few dollars, and he, he walks that road picking up stuff. You know, he doesn't have anything to do anyway. He walks from the state line. But, I mean, they give him uh, 50 bucks a week or something, just walking anyway, picks up some stuff. Puts it in the bag, then they pick it up. 
Tam will pick it up, I guess. That was the agreement that was made, I guess. I don't know. But would you, that was all helping. And it did, that made a big difference because there was a lot of things like he was talking about, bigger stuff. But I don't think they were even covering some of them loads. And you get going 50 miles an hour, I mean, come on. It's just stuff like that. <laughs> I think I recall one of our um, local people telling us that someone was picking up garbage on Route 7 and you have to be very careful going through it because of finding dirty needles and things like that in it. So we'd have to be careful of that. But well, see, I, that's, the, that's the thing with all this stuff. I mean, but I think if we, well, I, I think the, you know, the best thing that we can do, well, right now, we're discussing it and everything. We're let, trying to let people know that we're aware of it. We don't like it. I think 90% of the people in town don't like it. So it isn't a little minority. It isn't just the people sitting it's there. It's probably 99%, table. right? Probably. You know, most, you know what most everybody. Really? I mean, come I mean, on. I, I, <coughs> um, uh, and, and we make it pretty I mean, easy for people yeah. to be able to dispose of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, our, our transfer station is right. so <laughs> reasonable, right. it's yeah. not even funny. Right. Right. You know. Well, Nowadays, you can well. take a picture with your cell phone and send it to us and watching somebody dump something. When when you were taking it to um, Al, do you think it was less? I think no, he was I getting after it's, him. It's about Didn't, the same. Yeah. It's about the same. You know, but he would, I mean, he went over to Hoosick Falls one time, packing his heat and in his uniform, and he knocked on the people's door, and he said, you get that crap out of those woods, or I'm going to find you. Yeah. And I mean, he didn't have any authority to do that, <laughs> but he did it anyway. <laughs> you know, Al. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we've uh, discussed that pretty well, and I think everybody feels the same way, but I think we ought to also... Get a little chat and ask him. Yeah, that's the key. See what he says. Well, I, 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 I thank you for your consideration. No, no, well, I truly really do. And I, th yeah. I think you've got a good point. Great. But I think the only thing that we're trying to say is we're just going to try to uh, approach this a, a little differently at the moment. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Yeah. At least it's been brought so, uh, it's, right. it's to the public. <laughs> that's right. And that's great. Thank you. Okay, so we got policy review. I think we're probably going to have to hold off till we have a full board, like we said. Yeah, okay. yeah I, I, I've that's, got I've got that's a good copies idea, of the policies and. Because I'm sure that they're missing this hate. You know? Yeah, I don't I'd hate to do anything yeah. when they weren't. Oh. You know, yeah. just because no. they're absent, <laughs> I don't want them to get out of doing something. So. Okay, so I guess we'll uh, need a motion to go into executive session to talk about that real estate down there so we can get that moving to it. All right. Okay, we're all set. So, Unless anybody Double. else, is, somebody else has got anything to say. You all I'll set? second you all set, Ellen. I'm all tax set. bill's gone out. They went out this week. Oh, Did, yes. Are we still on the air? Um, yep. Tax bill's went out. Um, and a couple more went out today because they came back. Um, so if you don't have your tax bills by the beginning of October, please call 823-5326. Leave a message and I will get you a tax bill. And the due date? The due date is November 10th. Um, we accept postmark. Some of this information is on the town website. Um, also, there's a drop box in here over in the far corner behind my desk. If I'm not here, you can just drop it in the drop box. It's a locked drop box. And I will send you a receipt. My hours are on the bills. Okay. Anything else? No. All right. Well, we'll go into executive session, I guess. You made the motion. I'll second it. Yep. All yep. in favor say aye. 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 Okay.